Good, happy Monday evening, January 4, 2021. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this Monday evening edition of The News with Riley King. We are broadcasting live here in our Washington, D.C. studio. As you can see right behind me is the Capitol building right here in Washington, D.C. Thank you for joining us for this evening edition. Let's begin. We got a lot of news to get to this evening. First up, we're going to take a look at your COVID-19 dashboard from John Hopkins University and Medicine. Let's take a look at that right now. And here is a look at that information for all of you right now, your COVID-19 dashboard from John Hopkins University of Medicine. There are 85,555, 270 global cases. U.S. cases, 20,788,638. Global deaths are 1,849,904. U.S. deaths are 353,050. That is a look at your COVID-19 dashboard from John Hopkins University in Medicine. Despite CDC warnings, millions of people flew over the holidays. TSA screenings dropped by 500 million in 2020 from the previous year. Even with the uptick in travelers over the holiday, the Transportation Security Administration TSA revealed Monday that it screened 500 million fewer passengers in 2020 compared to last year, a 60% drop. As he seeks to prevent certification of election, Trump plans to attend D.C. rally. Trump plans to speak at a Save America rally Wednesday on the Epilepsy. As a joint session of Congress convenes Wednesday to formally certify the Electoral College votes, President Donald Trump plans to speak at a Save America rally near the White House, according to sources familiar with his plans. Thousands are expected to attend the rally on the Epilepsy, a 52-acre park just south of the White House, as pro-Trump supporters descend on the nation's capital for a series of marches to protest the results of the 2020 election. D.C. National Guard activated ahead of protests. Demonstrations will be held when Congress is to certify the election results. The Pentagon has approved and requested by the mayor of Washington, D.C. to activate 340 members of the D.C. National Guard to assist law enforcement ahead of Wednesday's planned demonstrations scheduled for when Congress is expected to certify the results of the 2020 presidential election. FBI warns of cyber attacks to distance learning. Students return to the virtual classrooms this week. As students head back to the classrooms after the holidays, the FBI is warning students and teachers and parents that cyber criminals and bad actors are looking to exploit online classrooms. 
And let's take a look at your U.S. stock market and see how your U.S. stock market closed for this Monday evening. And here's a check of that U.S. stock market for all of you for this Monday evening. As you can see, your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the red went down. Your NASDAQ closed in the red went down. SP 500 closed in the red went down. Gold closed in the green and went up. Oil closed in the red went down. U.S. 10 year closed in green went up. Your slash USD closed in the green went up. And VIX closed in the green and went up. And that is a look at your U.S. stock market for this evening. And switch gears now, let's take a look at your weather across the United States for tonight. And here's a look at the weather across the United States for tonight. In Boston, it'll be 28 degrees and cloudy. New York, 36 degrees and cloudy. Washington, D.C., 36 degrees and cloudy. Atlanta, 42 degrees and cloudy. Miami, Jacksonville, Florida, sorry about that, will be 42 degrees with moon and stars. Tampa Bay, Florida, 45 degrees with moon and stars. And Miami, Florida, 56 degrees and clouds. Dallas, Texas, it'll be 37 degrees with moon and stars. Las Vegas, 39 degrees with clouds. Phoenix, 43 degrees with clouds. Las Vegas, Los Angeles, 46 degrees with moon and a few clouds. And San Francisco, 44 degrees with clouds. And that is a look at the weather across the United States this evening. And thank you for joining us for this evening edition of the news with Riley King. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the news with Riley King. Good night and goodbye, everyone.